G'day guys, welcome to my Lego channel where today I am going to do a video about a brown box. Thought I'd branch out. Thought, yeah, Lego may be a bit overrated, I'll do the brown box. No, seriously, I know I haven't done many videos recently and here I am doing a non-Lego video, but I wanted to share this because this is really cool. Now, I found this via Mac Rumors. Anyone who knows me knows I'm a big Apple fanboy. I have had Macs since I was 10 years old. Yes, I had one of the old pizza box Macs. Look it up. Cool Mac. You could do a lot with it, actually. But anyway, um, they had a competition to win one of these. I didn't win the competition because I don't live in America. Boo. But I went and looked up what they were as the prize was, and I was blown away by how cool it was in my books because I had one of these that this is based off of when they came out I was at one of the launch events for it and I had never really sort of been into mp3 players or anything like that but when this launched it changed my mind in a big big way the minute I held it I had to have one and the minute my friends had it in their hands they had to have one as well. So you're probably guessing this is based on the iPod, but this is not an iPod. This is an iBoy. How cute is that? It's a little sculpture of an iPod. I just, I love it. I thought it was so unique and so different and I just really wanted it. It really sort of does look like the original iPod. It's not as heavy as the original iPod. Anybody who had the original iPod knows they were not the lightest of devices because they had a little hard drive in it and a big battery and technology wasn't where it is today and it's nothing like your iPhone. But how cute is that? Like it's got the headphones for the ears, it's got the uh, the lanyard for the, the headphones, you can plug it all in and make it look like it's actually an iPod if you really want to. It's even got the face on there which is the brick game that was hidden in there. So yeah, awesome. I'm going to open this up and have a quick look at it. So let's have a go. I'm not going to keep this box. Now this wasn't insanely expensive to be perfectly honest. I mean including shipping. Um, I got it on, he's been running it as a Kickstarter campaign. So the guy that does this actually did a G3, uh, one of the original iMacs, you remember the sort of Bondi blue iMacs that basically reinvigorated the entire Apple brand. He did one of those as well, which is pretty cute. I'm not that interested in that, but this is sort of his latest version. He does the U2 version as well. Anybody who's interested in that, the U2 version being the one that's black and red that they did with Bono. Um, Anybody who uh, wants to know why it's red, go and check out the, uh, the Steve Jobs book because there's a whole section in that book about this, uh, about that iPod and the challenge that went through trying to get that approved through Steve Jobs because Bono wanted it a particular, anyway, yeah. Steve Jobs knew what he wanted, knew what he liked. He was right. So here we have. <laughs> Our little eye boy. Everything's held on with magnets so you can move it around. <laughs> How cute is that? What a little fella. All the buttons are clickable like the original ones. You can do the clicky wheel. Oh, it doesn't sound quite as smooth as the original one, but I just thought that was really cute and cool. It's even got all of the switches on the top here. Let's see if my camera is going to focus on that because it's a bit close. There we go. Is it going to focus? Come on. Come on. There we go. It's even got the original hold button, the firewire port, the headphone port. Things you don't get on, a, on an iPhone now. Everything is magnetic so you can just take it apart. I wanted to share that with you because I just it's something different, you know. I do do other things. Anybody who's got a Keen eye will notice there's some transformer boxes over my shoulder. I do collect other things. Side note, if you're interested in seeing anything about those kind of things, let me know because I don't collect lots, I collect a bit. Alright, you know, it's it's actually quite expensive to get into another hobby. Um, but I've been lucky enough to find a few things I wanted at my local Kmart on a good price. But how cute is that little guy? 
if you're interested, I'll put a link down in the uh, description below. But I just wanted to share that with you. I just love it. I'm, I'm a big retro fanboy. Side note, I have not had many things touch wood in my life stolen. And one of the things that was stolen from me was my original iPod was on my desk at work. I'd left it there that night thinking I'm not going to take it out in case I lose it because I was going for some drinks. Someone came and robbed the office, stole four of the Big Macs we had and my iPod. Gutted. Absolutely gutted. Anyway, let me know what you think of that in the comments. I know it's not Lego. Maybe I should try and build a Lego version. Um, but it's something different. I wanted to share it. I already like it. I'm not going to do like a full in-depth review. I'm just going to say I already like it. It's cute. It's going to sit on my shelf and I'm going to play with it a little bit. And uh, I'll probably do some little photos. I might involve him in the Lego City as well. I don't see why he couldn't be in the Lego City. Maybe I should do an Apple Store. He could be the mascot. Lego, not Lego. Eee. <laughs> He's cute. It's got a full battery too. That's good to see. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of that. <laughs> Do you want me to do more random non-Lego things like this in the future? Because I can. Um, <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, again, as I said, if you're interested, links down below in the in the description. Um, I like it. Anyway, if you're new here, hit subscribe. I do post regularly. And I've got some other videos here that are Lego related, if you're interested. I'll see you again very soon.